episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at Screen Junkie's Honest Trailer for the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The um, last ten years built up to this. Um, as of uh, next Friday of this recording, the the current phase of the MCU comes so close to Spider-Man: Far From Home. Yes. And based on the last trailer we saw. We can see why this is the final chapter because it's to lead into the next phase. Is it, yeah, it's the end of the uh, end of one phase and the beginning of another. Yeah, they already confirmed that the next D twenty that this year's D twenty three. They are going to talk about not only the future of Disney films in general, but the future of the Marvel movies. Pretty as much well. what the next phase is going to possibly yeah, because there's there's talk about um, Eternals, Doctor Strange two, Black Panther two, Ant Man three, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. We don't, but we don't. Oh, Guardians three or as Guardians, you know. We, but we don't know the actually vague timeline. Yeah, yeah, of how they're gonna be doing this. And then there's the DCU, which let's be honest, that wouldn't be a very good bit honest trailer. So let's dive into so this. Horrible. It's okay. They're 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 trying. Wonder Woman, from what we've heard, doesn't look that bad. From what we heard, doesn't look that bad. <laughs> <laughs> from what we heard, doesn't uh, look that bad. Let's take a look at this for Screen Junkies honest trailers for MCU Marvel Cinematic Universe. Here we go. Presented by the boys, taking the fight to superheroes on Amazon Prime Video on July 26th. Iron Man, all the time, the yeah, yeah, Iron Man 3, everything. Yeah, look at all that. Oh, I That's didn't know why that. they did this. 300. Honest trailer. In a world where a bankrupt comic book company sold the film rights to its best characters for peanuts because they thought movies would be a good way to sell more comics. A young executive <laughs> will do what he can to the rejects that no one wanted and do so well they get bought out by Disney before it was cool. <laughs> the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Except for Endgame. Except for MCU, a TV series made of Except for Endgame. About comic books so they don't have the official footage they can use. Not by magic, by technology. Magic. Science. But science is basically magic. So Boy, Boy Scouts of America. This is the worst worthwhile organization. I didn't physically check the traits. And meet hmm. your typical MCU protagonist. A loner with no pets. No biological siblings. <laughs> only friends are their co-workers. Aww. Whose personality can range from lighthearted quipster. I'm sorry, Earth is closed today. To stern, duty-bound military type. Get hurt. Heard of back. Get killed. Walk it off. And on a long enough timeline, everyone becomes a quipster. Bitch, please, you've been to space. <laughs> Follow the law on their hero's journeys, where after a motivating Uncle Ben situation, they'll get a transformational hairstyle, <laughs> cars, and find the strength to both <laughs> say their superhero name out loud. I'm Captain America. I am Iron Man. Control, so I'm going to be a man. I'm Nick Fury. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, he's the man. These two. I'm Spider-Man then. Star. Who? Who? But people say a hero is only as good as their villain. And thank God that's not true, or the MCU would be hot garbage. Thrill as they spare ten minutes to establish a bad guy who's just like the hero, but evil. <laughs> or a faceless horde. Can't feel bad if it doesn't have a face. Or actually a pretty awesome character. And they're dead. But and they're dead. The real villain of the MCU is dead. Cold. He was Calvin. Dad. Me and everyone told me he liked me. Favorite for all these years. You were wrong to turn your backs on the rest of the world. Everything I love myself. Let us have a shitty father. Of course, man. I have issues. Oh, that's my freaking father. I will hunt my father. I love that. I will tear him apart so that piece by piece. And until he knows some self that's better than the profound and unceasing. I like that guy. Of a meticulously planned story told across 23 separate movies, all about Thanos killing half the universe. Well, first he has to get an Infinity Gauntlet. No, not that gauntlet. I'm doing it myself. Yeah, yeah, that one. And then gather the Infinity Stones. Well, send proxies to get them. And he gives one away, but eventually he'll get the stones. Some are stones, while the other relics often appear as stones. Eaters, fluids. But then. He'll kill half the universe, which also doesn't make much sense. Oh, also, the timeline doesn't work out. Well, 
Oh, maybe this wasn't so planned out after all. But the films do sort nicely into three distinct phases. The conventional pop songs phase. The boundary pushing experimental phase. <laughs> and then the, we can do no wrong, I'm a golden guy phase. <laughs> I'm gonna die! Four will have MCU puking in the gutter, wondering where it all went wrong. Journey from the farthest reaches of Viking space to alternate dimensions to the wonders of Earth. Oops, that one's Utopia. And that one was Utopia. And <laughs> still kind of looks and feels the same as visionary indie filmmakers are funneled into the Marvel style of overlit digital video where everything is CGI. Every story is full of sexless romance that never takes off. No! Oh, what the hell? Bloodless violence. <laughs> yeah, bloodless violence. No blood. That never leaves more than a couple of forehead scrapes. All that for a drop of blood. Lifeless soundtracks with more dad rock than you can shake a pair of middle-aged screenwriters at. Feels so good. Chuck Manzioni, 1977. Marvin Gaye. 1972 Trouble Man soundtrack. Who's gonna feel it? Who's sweet? 1973, that song belongs to me! Or toothless comedy that's just saying pop culture things. So this war <laughs> has a real shiny blue suitcase, Ark of the Covenant, Maltese Falcon sort of vibe. I love doing the Christmas story. Shooting Knight Rider or touring with his band in Germany. No hard feelings, point break. Right? You gotta meet Swint. Who built my new Lego Death Star? What? Try me, Beyonce. That man is playing Galaga. Hey, who was playing Galaga? We didn't know how from Flash Gordon. I'm very popping, y'all! Now we're playing a game. I can footloose the movie. Exactly like footloose. Squidward Grimace. Oh, oh my god. My pop culture references. Gandalf and Harry Potter. Oops, that's Pixels. That's Pixels. For a Kendrick and Epic movie first that had a 1 in 14 million 605 shot of working. But those odds didn't stop every other studio from awkwardly mashing their IPs together like a junior high dance floor, <laughs> leaving Marvel as the only one standing in a dying industry. But launching a whole new industry of Marvel movie news, theory and analysis, channels that just complain about Marvel movies, and even comedy web series that would have died a long time ago if Marvel movies weren't so popular. Yeah! That's what it was. So one way or another, in the end, everyone's getting paid by Disney. You shills. <laughs> Oh, uh, here we go. Science geniuses. It's the chief heavy ion fusion of any reactor on the planet. Quantum phase where an object moves through different states of matter. An Einstein Rosen bridge is a theoretical connection between two <clears throat> different points of space. It's a wormhole. The quantum system would revert back to separate states of matter. Why didn't you just reprogram <coughs> Hey, she's my favorite scientist. I know, so when far. become an expert in thermonuclear <laughs> <and astrophysics? laughs> Last night. Last night. It's become a meme now. <laughs> From the other airplanes. Oh, jumping now. <laughs> Damn! Oh, yeah, that God, one! That one still hurts a lot! People of colors. That happens a lot in this. Especially with her. Yeah, yeah, mainly a lot mainly of Mainly Black Widow. Okay, there we go. More others. And back to Black Widow. Trains? That's true. There's a lot more trains than you think there would be. Okay, to be fair, that's the most hilarious train yeah. scene. Yeah. Audis. Audis, of course. Then you get a Hyundai and you like it. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Ah, oh, man, I miss, <laughs> I miss that guy. I'm gonna have a big gun. You are not the big gun. Tony, don't be jealous. No, it's not good. <laughs> Spoldery fire. Twenty-one feet. Not bad, you. Sixty-five feet. Wow. Huge. Get an Iron Man suit and you. Get an Iron Man suit and you. Weird non-Stanley cameos. Hey, the Oracle of Oracle. Good idea for an electric jet. Brad Pitt and his brother Liam Hemsworth. Combos. Multi-hit combos. Yeah. Wait, I said Brad Pitt. That was uh Matt Damon. Fuck yeah. All these combos, 100, 200. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, all the combo hits. That's true, you had a lot of those. God damn. You sure you know how to fly this thing? You know how to fly this thing? Uh, we'll see. I thought you said you know how to fly this thing. So how hard can you be? Here, take your wheel. No, I don't know how to fly one of these. Are you a scientist? Do you want your PhD? Yeah. And you yeah. <laughs> for all of Guardians 1. They're sitting in Star Lord's jizz. Find a black light. This look like a Jackson Pollock painting. 
Oh, gross, dude. The never ending story. <laughs> never ending story. <laughs> oh, man, we forgot to say anything about the ABC shows, Netflix series, one shots, and spinoffs. Eh, so to get the bite. Oh, damn. The series on Amazon Prime Video, premiering on July 26th. Damn. It's the first episode of our new series, Fandom Uncovered, all about Twilight fans. Yes, do we have the healthiest history with Twilight? Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. Not so much. Launch of our new series, and yes, you should. I guess. But, okay, easily my favorite part is the phase four. We can do whatever we want. We're golden guys. <laughs> We're golden guys. Phase three. We're golden guys. I'm like, the, the, the pop age, the rebellious teenage. The we can do whatever we want. We're fucking golden guys. Yeah, we're fucking golden gods. Um, that's how it was, though, if you think about yeah, it. And right? they, yeah, and they're the only surviving cinematic universe in the long run. So, yeah. like... Props to, you know, Marvel for doing that. It's still going strong. And fuck you, Faye, for ignoring all the other really good stuff that is in a movie. So, yeah. other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Honest Trailers, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this Honest Trailer. Any favorite moments, any favorite Marvel films, or top moment from all the Marvel films. Love to hear that down below. Most importantly, thank you for watching. So, oh, go ahead. So, until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Chris. And this has been a very MCU filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust at Super React Bros.